All right, Cancer, here we go. The hot spot of the connection cycle. Woo! Slice number four of my 12 slice Zodiac fly through. <sighs> Let's do it. July 2024. Cancerians. Ah, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, or you found Steve Love Chair, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. And again, I'm not a time lord. You all know that. Okay? All right. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer for July 2024 universe. Let's do this. Top row of the pyramid is how they feel about you. Middle is whoever they are. Somebody attached to you is coming in here. I can feel it. Uh, middle is what they think about you or how they see you. We could put it that way, right? And the uh, bottom of the pyramid here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. All right? I'll clarify whatever needs clarifying and throw some universe cards for you at the end. See what else the universe wants to tell you. You ready? Let's do it. This is a, this is a fucking fire hose of energy here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ah, oh, man, I fucking knew it. I haven't touched this deck yet. Every reading I've done has been with a different deck, different order, whatever. If you've been watching the readings up to this point, you know we've seen this sucker a lot. It's a tower, the overall energy. It had to come out here. You're the hot spot of the connection cycle. This is an all signs reading. It always is. It's for anyone. You know, it's definitely it's about 9 out of the 12 should resonate with you in the zodiac fly through, no matter what your sign is, because I'm not your astrologer. But in this reading, this one should resonate. Something here should resonate with everybody. There's a tower and there's an eight of pentacles fueling it. It's, it's an unavoidable. Somebody's trying to avoid the unavoidable. You follow? So somebody attached to you is trying to avoid the unavoidable. Avoid the inevitable. Okay. You ready? How do they feel? Hmm. <laughs> And I shuffled and shuffled and I cut this deck before I hit the record button. And in fact, I had cut it before I even did that. It's the King of Wands. It's the Burger King. I swear in the Cancerian angle, it is the most, those long lost runners, those people you think you're never going to fucking hear from are still thinking about you. You're still a motherfucking thing. You're still the one. Right? Remember that song? Still the one who can make me. Right? You are. Jesus. All right. Except in that song, I think they're still together. They're still having fun. Um, I don't get any fun here. I get King of Wands. How they feel. Very protecting themselves from something. Okay? Again, trying to avoid, trying to ignore the elephant in the room. Mm, protecting themselves from something. What do we get here? Three of Wands. That card's been coming up a lot too. And in that position from other decks. July is a pretty... Y'all pretty much in the same boat in July. I will tell you. Um, in, some, in one way or another. Does not surprise me. Although I haven't pulled Sagittarius' reading yet. You know how those can go. Woo. Um, somebody... Okay, uh, what was the read with the King of Wands? I'm confused. Knight of Wands. That was at the bottom of the deck when I picked it up to start this reading. I will tell you. Okay. Um, again, it's inevitable. The the base energy says somebody in their emotions is is got their mind, it's got their soul set on you. They're they're ready to 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 make a move. They're very soon ready to do it, and yet they're trying to avoid it. They're trying to avoid the inevitable move towards you. The inevitable emotional admission that they have feelings, that they that you're still a thing, that you're still the one, and they need to do something about it. How are they avoiding it? The way I feel this, it's somebody thinking about anything else. The minute you pop in their head, they start thinking about something else or feeling something else or whatever. You know? It is what it is. Someone try you you see it all the time play out in the 3D as someone who avoids a topic sort of a thing. You know, you start to bring something up and they change the subject real quick. You know, you want to talk about something very emotional, they switch it off to, oh, I went to the store the other day and got some nachos. I don't know if you, you know, that kind of thing. They keep changing the topic. Somebody is changing the emotional topic. The inevitable is they come towards you. We will clarify a couple of things here, especially that. What do they think about you? How do they see you? All right, in July. Six of Pentacles. Abundance. It's an energy of abundance. I don't understand. What What else? The Three of Cups. They see you as too emotional. I get it. 
That's now I, now I understand why that's abundant. It's why we keep pulling cards. It's why we don't do a reading with just one card and take all the energy and put it together. We need to separate it out, space it out. Somebody thinks you're too emotional for them. Okay? Whoever this is, they think you're too emotional for them. I want that to sit with you for a second before I say what I'm about to say. Okay? They think you're too emotional for them. Like, like they, you know. Okay. You sit with that? Good. Because they're full of shit. Okay? They're just as emotional as you are. They just put up a front with their little hood and try to act all Mr. Spock or Mr. or Mrs. Practical or Stoic. This, this person is behaving in a Stoic energy, energy in the month of July. They think you're too emotional, right? It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. It's like the posh person, the posh person who's pretending to be posh, but really they're fucking crazy party animal behind the scenes sort of a thing. You know, you don't have, it's not exactly what's happening, but you just have to catch my drift. Somebody here is, is claiming that you're too emotional and, you know, they need to distract themselves from this. Oh, I couldn't possibly, when they know damn well that it's inevitable that they will very much possibly come towards you. Mm. Of trying to avoid the inevitable. Mm. There might be an inevitable breakdown here. I don't know. What's the potential final outcome? It's red with three wands, and that's very encouraging. And I feel like it's deja vu when I said that about a reading I just pulled. But the King of Cups. Yeah. Very similar card, too. I think a reading I just pulled that had a three of wands here, I think, had a King of Cups as one of its clarifiers anyway. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's inevitable that they share their feelings. We, you have, there's, there's more to come with this person. This is an old energy that's been attached to you and holding on to your energy for a while. It's been dicking around with it, trying to avoid it, trying to pretend. It's been a long time. And I know you might be somebody who says, oh, that person's never coming in. Never say never. You'd be surprised. Listen, I have lived a very fruitful life. I have a lot of life experience. There are people in my life that I thought I was never going to see again. 20 years went by and they show up. People just show up. If it's meant for you, if it's supposed to happen, there's very little you can do to screw up what's supposed to happen, even with free will decisions. There are certain things that are supposed to happen. This is kind of reading like that, especially, and I say that because of the overall energy. It's a very, one very powerful major arcana card, okay? In other words, that's a tree, right? It's a big tree. It looks like it's been there a long time, right? But it was inevitable. It was always going to get hit by lightning. Right? It was always going to fall. It always had that future. The tree didn't make any free will decisions. Maybe some people around it did. But let's say nobody ever found this tree. It was way out in the middle of nowhere. Humans have never been within 50 miles of it. No free will decisions were ever made anywhere around it. It was always going to get hit by lightning. So, you know, if you did happen upon it and saw it there, you know, you could go, hmm, it's a shame what's going to happen to this in 50 years. You know, that kind of thing. This was always going to happen. It's always going to happen that this energy comes towards you and tells you how they feel. Now we got to dig into it. Let's dig into this King of Wands. Let's go. Um, they might be married. Four of Wands. This person might be married or in a relationship with somebody else. Or they could have, again, one of those families that's more like a cult than a family. Or could have uh, some sort of restriction put upon them. A path that they have to walk. Something about stability and the in their life or something like that that they have to give up to come towards you or some kind of shit like that that's very common in this soulmate cycle. What's going on with the King of Wands? Tell me about it. I'm shuffling. We're going to clarify with the witches. Let's talk to the witches here. What do we get? Alright, let's go. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, again, it's I'm right. The I, look, I'm checking my work. Look, there's eight Pentacles distracting from the inevitable. Distracting with the little puffed up hood from the inevitable. They're distracting from the inevitable. It's saying the same thing. I'm going to put the tower right there because we need to stare at that. Let's go. What's on top? A strength card. They're afraid of their feelings for you. There's a lot of... Um, this person's into you. Whoever this is, they're into you. They're afraid of their feelings. They don't come at me and go, Steve is probably my cousin. Well, then you got a cousin that's really into you and you could probably dig how they'd be afraid of those feelings, can't you? Right? I mean, think about it. So it applies. Sorry, Mr. or Mrs. Wright Trailer Park, but fine. 
it's right there the, at the end of the day somebody here is afraid of their feelings for you the feelings are too strong they think so they make up an excuse they blame shift the king of wands is a narcissist narcissists blame shift it's never their fault right societal energy is full of king of wands I always say just watch the news. You watch blame shifting all day. You keep passing the buck. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. They did it. I didn't do it. Right? Nobody taking responsibility for the shit they did. Uh, uh, fucking driving me crazy. But it's happening here too. Somebody has huge emotions for you, but they blame shift it and say, well, you're too emotional for them. That's why I said it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Why is the strength card here? It's bullshit. Five of swords. Right? They're stabbing themselves in the foot by doing this. They, they stab the, the feelings. The feelings come up and they stab them down. They push them back down. Right? They, then they sense and they feel it's some kind of victory. It's some kind of victory, a false victory, they feel, by, by blame shifting it. By I have all these feelings, but I'm going to pretend I don't and I'm just going to say so I don't make any moves. I'm going to say that, that uh, the DF or you are too emotional. Right? Blame shift. They see it as a victory, but it's not. It's actually hurting them. And that's why we have a tower here. That's why it's the inevitable. What's the inevitable? That they will come. That they will do something. Right? Let's see. Because this is the biggest card of communication for me in the, in the Minor Arcana. It's the flow of emotion. Yeah, in this context related to them, it's about them seeing you as too emotional. Right? Uh, too, too risky to give to. Right? But that's not really the case. In another layer of energy, as I apply it to the final outcome, there's, there's a conversation. There's more to come here. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Tell me about the Knight of Wands before we get to all this. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Jesus. I mean, that's a whole reading right there. It's a whole psychology paper right there. I mean, it's unreal. I have deep feelings for you, but I don't want to feel them, so I'm just going to say you feel too much. You're too, you, you make me feel too much, so fuck you. I'm out. Right? What? What? That's insane. You know. It's crazy. And I know that's not a clinical term. I just use it to be funny. All right. Knight of Wands. Why is it here? It may not be a clinical term, but it's a Steve term. It's crossed by... Crossed by the uh, King of Pentacles. Mm. God, it's this all revved up and nowhere to go energy. Emotionally, this person wants nothing more than to come towards you. Dive into these waters, right? Ah, dive into your ocean, right? Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree, right? Travel the world in the seven seas. I mean, it's, it's, it's just there in my head. This person wants nothing more antsy at the gate emotionally than to dive into your waters right dive into your ocean of emotion here and and i got this king of pentacles crossing it and they stop themselves right at the gate right at the gate they distract themselves with oh but you know i've got everything i need i'm good right i've got i got my pentacles that's why pentacles showed up here i got my pentacles you're the you're the cops this big flow of emotion and there's six of pentacles you know i'm too important for this they're too emotional they have those same emotions for you. In fact, it's probably worse on their side. Right? There's a horn dog element here. I will tell you that. Right? Somebody really, really wants you. In a big way here. What's on top? Page of Pentacles. They look at your picture a lot. I feel this. I feel that energy there. It's my, it's my biggest spying energy, actually. It's bigger than the Page of Swords. Page of Swords only is a spying card in the right context, when the energy reflects off it just right. This is usually a student-type energy, or if it's communication, it's somebody who's you know writing down what they're going to say, rehearsing it or something. But this is a, an energy of somebody looks at your picture a lot. Somebody does. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, the hangman. That's all they do. That's all they do. As long as they got, as long as they can come and spy once in a while, whatever that is, look at your picture, check out your social media, creepily drive by your house, whatever it is, as long as they can do that once in a while, they're fine. All right? They are beginning in the month of July to get a new perspective on this energy, though. It's not quite enough. Okay? I think they're done making excuses, maybe. I wouldn't, and I said it, I said it already, I said a bigger spy energy than what? The Page of Swords, right? Yeah. 
There's the Page of Swords fueling this King of Pentacles. Somebody here is afraid. To, they're right, right there at the gate. They want to dive into your ocean. Right there at the gate for sure. But they're afraid of disappointing somebody in their life. Might be mommy. Might be daddy. Might be someone they're married to, but it's very practical and it, there's not really any love there. They're just, they're overly concerned, and I get this a lot in this soulmate cycle on the DM side. Somebody's overly concerned with hurting or disappointing an energy that does nothing but hurt and disappoints them. You know, it's really weird the way these energies are. Okay, so let's talk about your emotionalness, okay? Let's, let's talk about you. Three of Cups. How do they see you? You're too emotional. Well, let's, let's, let's actually look at that. Because I don't think you are. I don't think you've been overly emotional about this energy for quite some time, a good number of you. Okay? So, and I think that's what's worrying this energy. I think that's why we're getting a Knight of Wands there, for example, a movement card in the month of July. I think that's what I think that's what it is. It's getting harder and harder for them to say, "Oh well, you're too emotional, right?" It's getting harder to say that when that emotion isn't there. It's only it's getting very one-sided here, right? Very one-sided. Take note: our overall energy is a tower. That's why I left it up. That's a breakdown. It's lightning suddenly. That's sudden change. Okay. Let's pull on your emotion here. This you're overly emotional because I think you're very balanced in your emotions. Taking that layer of energy. Energy's always in layers. I'll pull that layer. You're very balanced in your inner, in your emotion. You are. You're very much in control of them. It's somebody else who's afraid. If once they jump off that cliff, they're going to have to say something. Can't just show up and not say anything. It's going to, or they're going to look stupid. That's one thing the DM side of this cycle does not like to look stupid. I will tell you that. Three of Cups. Tell me about it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, get out. Oh. You are lovely. It's the Nine of Pentacles crossing the Three of Cups. This is what bothers them about you. You seem so happy. You seem like you do. Because you know, they spy. They know. Okay? You seem so happy. You seem like you, 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 you take a picture of yourself smiling. It's real. You're really smiling. You don't turn into a frown afterward and throw a cup of coffee against the wall. You know, it's not fake. There's something real about you. There's something abundant about you. They might see you grow and they might see abundance growing around you. I don't know. But there's something about it that's, oh, they're too emotional, that kind of thing. That's just an excuse. It is. It's really somebody here who's incredibly jealous of you on some level because you're, you're representing here as balanced and uh, a nine of pentacles crossing a three of cups, meaning you're in complete control of your emotions. You do as you please. You feel as you please. All right? What's what's up? Is minor arcana empress energy on that nine of pentacles, by the way. And here's the magician backing up what I said, right? You, they see you beginning new journeys, abundance, journeys of abundance. They see you learning, growing, studying, you know, asking questions, learning about life, a new journey, you know, having your shit together. How else you want me to phrase it? Why well, is the magician here? They see you victorious. Look at, look at you. That's how they see you. And don't come at me and go, Steve, my life's a mess. You know, I'm terrible. It's, it's horrible. I don't even have shoes. Okay. All right, fine. But that doesn't matter. That This is how they see you. Okay? It's all about how people see you. You could be, we could flip that. You could be the richest person in the world. Multi-trillionaire, right? You, multi-trillionaire, richest person in the world. But if you walk around, uh, go to the grocery store in ratty old clothes, drive a, a 67 Chrysler that barely runs and billows smoke, people are going to see you as some poor jackass who probably lives under a bridge somewhere. They're never going to suspect you're a multi-trillionaire, right? It's all how people see you. This is how you can think, think what you want about yourself. This is how they see you. The magician, a victorious magician who seems to, everything seems to go their way and they have all this abundance and their life is fucking great. No wonder, and their life is phony and shit. No wonder they fucking shut it down with a bunch of false victories. No wonder they fucking love you and there's this huge fucking energy of attraction here. That's how they see you. And I will stand by that. Those cards speak volumes, right? <laughs> They also think somebody else might snatch you up because of all this with a page of cups, new love underneath that. 
They see you maybe looking at other people. Maybe, for some of them, if they spy enough, talking to other people. Mm -hmm. So your final outcome is somebody coming to tell you, probably somebody jumping off that cliff, moving and doing something different. Three of Wands. New Horizons telling you how they feel. Let's, let's see. King of Cups, final outcome. What's this mean to my viewers? It's an old energy that's here. All right, and I don't give a fuck what you say. You say they're gone, they're this, they're that. This is an old energy. There's something about the month of July that's bringing back the old, old soulmates. It's like it's like a getting the band back together again energy. It's it's here. You're still a thing. You're still the one. And in fact, you're a big deal thing in the month of July. Do not be surprised if you get signs from the universe. All kinds of things. You know, you see somebody strange tweet or something like that. You're like, why would that say that? Why would that person, this strange person unassociated with what's going on with your situation? Something you read and it's just like, wow, there's your sign. You'll be getting signs, definitely. There's no doubt about it. That this energy is back. All right? Even if it's mustard yellow, look out for mustard yellow. It's all over this fucking magician card. It's all over the nine of pentacles that was here. It's everywhere. It's the color that's radiating off of this table for me as far as your connection goes. Right? It's the color that's always been that of the soulmate cycle. This soulmate cycle radiates a mustard yellow frequency type of thing. So look for that. It's back. At least for, at least for July. Think of it like the shamrock shake or the McRib. It's back for a limited time. Okay? Uh, it is. And it's very strong. All right. Still love the old McRib commercials. McRib. Chomp. Well, I love that. That's a great ad campaign. If I remember it all those years later. King of Cups. Why is it here? Back for a limited time. Wow. Ten swords crossing it. Tens of the end, end, dead end that lead to a new beginning. So is that. That's a new beginning. And a new horizons. What's on top? Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's all done holding on to your energy and not doing anything with it. It's too hot to handle. It's too hot to handle. You're doing too well. They see you as doing too well. Okay? And again, how people see you. It's, it's, it, in this case, it's how they feel your energy. It's less about physically seeing you and more about how your energy... You have a very strong connection with this person. You are still very much connected. And it's, it's about how they're feeling that energy more than anything else, more than anything physical that's going on in your world. All right? And if you are thriving, oh, then that's just adding. That's just, that's just rubbing salt in the wound. It really is. Why is the Jewel of Pentacles here? The Queen of Swords. Somebody's coming. Somebody can't hold on to this anymore. They've got something they need to say. They need some clarity on something. Okay? There's something that happened with you and this person that needs to be cleared up, at least according to this person. And that... That is the unavoidable. That is what this tower represents. And that truth brings a lot of clarity and allows maybe each side to move on or maybe you to do something with this person. Maybe you become like lifelong friends. I can tell you the energy is there for that. The energy is there with, for you and this person to become, to, to stay and, and move forward in a new direction, in new horizons. The Three of Wands talks about a change. It talks about moving in a new direction. All right, so it's there. It, you could end up just being friends with this person or being in a relationship with them. It's possible. It's possible. I don't know. They are definitely overcoming this urge to lie to themselves and shut it down and stab themselves in the foot with self-sabotage because this, this holding on to your energy, it's getting too hot. And it's because your frequency is, is rising. Your vibration is rising, as the kids like to say. And when, when that happens, it, it becomes hot. It becomes hard to handle for someone who's got something they're holding on to, right? They're trying to hold on to your energy. It's getting heavy. <laughs> All right, let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Okay, oh, wrong deck. Let's see what else the universe, well, there you go. Like I said, I said wrong deck. I stopped shuffling. I put this down as a uh, uh, page of wands. So I guess, I guess this is the deck then. A very rare, uh, usually I would go back to the original deck, but uh, seven of wands crossed by the page of wands. There's more to come here. Okay, there's 
you're at an advantage here in the sense of you got you don't have to do anything this energy comes to you but there is more to come here with this somebody's about to rise up and fight and I think the energy around it the what it does is it releases an energy that allows you to move forward in some way let's shuffle the deck let's let's shuffle the deck I was gonna shuffle for the final message for you let's get some more what else you want to tell my viewers universe give me one card and a crossing card all right I'm telling you I know this energy this energy has been here since I fucking got here to YouTube but it was here before I got here and I haven't been here that long uh, this energy was around hey, this is that energy that same you could take a reading a cancer reading I pulled in I don't know fucking July of 2021 and this is that same fucking energy it's that same frequency no doubt unless you've suddenly met someone who's exactly the frequency of that other person and they ran you know and they're pulling this shit all over again um, this is that energy the, the reading between now and 2021 is interchangeable <sighs> strange very strange all right I might as well I'm, I'm gonna have to be careful not to accidentally label this July 2021 and I'm just using that as a reference point July to July it, you know, it might match up better with August or June or something I have no idea I'm just saying I could go back and watch that July 2021 reading and I being the energy reader could tell you this is the same fucking energy there's no doubt about it seven of cups and the not crossed by the nine of cups Hold on. I want to make sure I'm right. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Again, you don't have to do anything. Whatever plays out here is for the greater good. The universe is kind of playing a game here in a little bit. It feels like a game show in a way. It's forcing somebody to make a choice here, to pick an option. Okay? It's, it's, it's just forcing somebody to do that. And whatever happens, the environmental energy around it is to even out some kind of energy here to allow both sides to move forward. But they're moving forward. You see the blue in the center? is through a conversation that happens. All right? The universe is kind of forcing things. It's forcing a stop. It's a forced stop. You know, you know how you have sometimes, sometimes uh, apps on your phone or on your tablet and you can go into the settings and you can do a, a, click a button called forced stop? every once in a while it's a bit of that the app that is your connection somebody running somebody just the, the whole connection just sort of running out of line somebody pulling this shit is in a forced stop if you will it's for the greater good there's a communication that's coming for sure um, again truth Archangel Michael sword of truth it brings a lot of healing with it I will tell you it brings a lot of healing and that conversation comes from a DM comes from the Emperor all right and it comes out of nowhere. It's hidden energy. And this, this high priestess is here. It comes from the soul. I get that. You will get signs. You will pick up on it with your intuition. The high priestess is there. You will feel this energy coming towards you. But this is also showing up. For those of you that think, oh no, it can't be that energy. It is. You're still a fucking thing. And the universe is playing a game here before stopping it. There's somebody coming in. There's a good shot of it. They can free will their way out of it. The energy, opportunity energy is there. The way the, the way the cards flow, the way the energy reads, somebody shows up, I think it surprises the shit out of you. I think that's part of the energy that's on the tower for you, right? I think it surprises the motherfucking shit out of you, and I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, if, if it surprised you. That's your reading. Wow. I'm almost, I'm, I almost hate to go. I want to grab the light seer here spying page page of swords again um, I just want to see what the what else you want to um, I'm gonna pull on this Queen of Swords what is this truth since this is a uh, the biggest of the fly-through readings uh, what the hell right what's this Queen of Swords about anything oh 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 eight of cups Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. It's about why somebody, why somebody blew you off. Why somebody had to blow you off. Why somebody thought you were shit. Why somebody had, uh, prejudged you. Any of that. I'm just riffing on the energy. That's what it's about. Why it took them so long to figure it out. You know, that too. Two, two of the slowest energies here in the tarot. But it's really about, because this flew out. 
It's about this. And whatever this means to you with your connection, it's about this. And this might be something, the imagery on this card strikes me as something that you might need to remember. I talked about that in, the, uh, in my write-up in July. Something about the imagery of this card, there's something here that you remember, you remember in July. So do they. All right? Except this time, somebody actually shows up after a, after a long, long fucking time. And I think that truth is them sort of explaining what happened here a little bit. I understand that. I get it. And I, I feel that here too. We got some truth from the Emperor. And I don't think you see it coming. There's a, that's, that's a real hidden energy there with that High Priestess. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I don't want to go too long. It'll piss off the other signs. Well, you did cancer reading for like an hour and a half. Hey, this is the hot spot of the connection cycle. It is what it is. It's for everybody. It's your reading too. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.